The nation's central bank released its preliminary estimates for their second quarter expansion. It slowed down from Q1 mainly due to weaker investment and export growth. Plus, there's the uncertainty factor stemming from the trade battles. Kim Hyesung breaks down the digits for us. South Korea's GDP grew in the second quarter by 0.7 percent from the previous quarter. The Bank of Korea says the country's GDP expanded by 398 trillion Korean won or about 356 billion U.S. dollars between April and June. It marks a slowdown from the first quarter's 1 percent rise, mainly due to weaker investment and export growth. Investment in business facilities contracted by 6.6 percent after growing over 3 percent the quarter before, mainly due to a cut in investment in both machinery and transportation equipment. Construction investment also turned to a negative 1.3 percent after gaining 1.8 percent in the first quarter. Construction investment went down as the government's housing market regulations went into effect. Facilities investment dropped mainly due to a base effect. Investment in displays and equipments are now going down, and this is likely to continue as global uncertainties like trade affect investment sentiment. Growth in exports, a major driver of Korea's economy, also slowed to 0.8 percent, down from 4 percent in the first quarter. Imports fell 2.6 percent due to cuts in imports of machinery and transportation equipment. On the expenditure side, private consumption increased by 0.3 percent on quarter, logging the slowest growth in six quarters. Government consumption also grew by 0.3 percent on quarter. The second quarter growth figures mark a slight slowdown from the first quarter, but on year the local economy grew by 2.9 percent. The Bank of Korea says second quarter growth is in line with its projections and that if the third quarter and fourth quarters have between 0.82 and 0.94 percent growth rates, Korea's GDP for 2018 will hit the bank's forecast of 2.9 percent. But it said it will have to keep a close watch on the ongoing global trade uncertainties. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.